video. Happy March. Thank you for tuning in. Very, very happy to see you. Very happy to read for you and see what's coming up in March. What do they need to know, Spirit? Leo Sun, Leo Moon, Leo Rising. Leo Sun, Leo Moon, Leo Rising. Leo, Leo, Leo. All right. They got stuff to say. <laughs> They're already talking. Okay, Leo. Got some bonus cards in here, Leo. Leo Sun, Leo Moon, Leo Rising Spirit. Thank you for showing us what they need to know. The month of March for their highest good. Very interesting way to start your reading. Hmm. Hmm. So here's something, Leo. You rule the heart. And you rule, actually, uh, in astrology, fun. You are the fun lover, the child of the zodiac. And I feel like there's a situation currently in which you don't feel completely free and completely appreciated. Now, of course, you know these are general readings, Leo, so some messages are going to resonate more than others and some may not resonate at all. And for those lucky Leos of you who do not feel like you're in struggle or like there's anything in your life going on right now that is unsustainable, remember to pay attention with those messages that resonate for you and leave those that don't resonate and accept that those are for other Leos. But a lot of you feel like, and it's true, you know, I was going to say, you're, you're a very generous soul, Leo, so when you feel like you're not getting something in return that you're meant to get, or even if it's just gratitude, it's not about tit for tat or quid pro quo, but if you are giving and giving and giving and you feel like you're not being shown any kind of appreciation or even just like the, the validation of I see you, like I see what you're trying to do for me, thanks. Um, that can become very demoralizing for you. And I do feel like a lot of you are finding yourselves in a place of contemplation. And I want to tell you that I feel like that's the right place to be versus a place of, let me do something right now because I'm frustrated. I think that the time to take action is coming in the near future, but if when you tune into this video you still feel like you're in a vulnerable, hanged man, right? If you're in a vulnerable, upside down, hanged man, I don't even know what my perspective is yet position, Leo, you don't need to do anything. But some of you it comes through very clear that you know, they keep coming back to that word like unsustainable, like you know that there's a current situation that has stagnated or has become, uh, okay, how do I say this? It's like there's a difference between a tough situation, which you know like, okay, this sucks, but I can dig my heels in and I can work through this. It's kind of like the difference between good pain and bad pain when you've been exercising, you know, the good kind of sore where you're stretching, it's like, ooh, I really feel that. And then there's that feeling of stretching and going, oh no, oh no, 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 that was wrong, like that was wrong. Some of you know that it's past the point of like, ooh, that's a stretch, that's a little uncomfortable to like, this is no longer okay by me. This is too rough or this is too difficult or this is too hard and too much and ease off. Like, when I say that some of you understand that a situation is unfair, un, like inequitable, unsustainable, you don't need to do anything before you're ready. Some of you are in deep contemplation of that stagnation and, and really very much considering that you might have to pack up and walk away even if you don't want to because this is something that you've put a lot of love and effort and time into. And listen, here's what they're telling me, okay? I swear I'm not here to be Pollyanna positive all the time, but here's what they're telling me. For some of you, the situation that is unsustainable and they're telling you like you need to leave something stagnant behind, it may not be that you have to leave the entire job, relationship, partnership, friendship, whatever this is for each unique Leo watching this, 
but you might have to make a really big fucking change if you want it to work. Why do I say that? The key to your reading, and as I said, you know, Spirit gave you a couple of bonus cards and they, they were basically instructing me to use two cards for your conclusion and here they are. Ready? The key to your whole reading. The Tower followed by the Ace of Pentacles. I feel like this is probably going to come through because I'm backwards because I'm on a camera. But for me, it is showing up as the Tower followed by the Ace of Pentacles. The Breakdown followed by the Springing Up of New Growth. <laughs> the composting and waste that can actually grow something really fruitful. So, like I said, for those of you who can tell that it's stretched past a breaking point or past a sore point to an injury point, do what you need to do. But there's no rush because it's like they keep telling me you're going to know what to do when it's time. The hanged man showing up says that you're kind of unsure and kind of getting a little bit of shift in perspective. The future is the chariot followed by six of cups. So finally, when you're ready, taking the reins and driving toward more fun, more again, equity. It's no mistake that the six of pentacles is the center of your reading and then the six of cups is showing up as your future. The sixes are about flow and harmony. And the fives are about conflict and struggle, this five of pentacles across the center. Very specifically, some of you, this is literally about your work and your money, because pentacles are the earth element, your resources, property, job, etc. And some of you just feel like you're not getting paid what you're worth, and you're not wrong to think about getting out of that situation, or having that come to Jesus conversation with somebody saying, this is unsustainable for me. Can we talk about when there's going to be a raise or can we talk about a promotion or can we talk about something? Because something has to change. And if you know that it's the workplace itself that is demeaning and small and struggling and not gonna change, then yes, your tower moment may be that, okay, this is just not gonna work. It's either gonna fall down because I burn out and get exhausted and someday just shout, I quit in your face, or is it going to be like, I know that this, this place is on shaky ground and do I really want to just kind of like press my luck and wait and hope and wait and hope that, you know, maybe it'll last as long until I find another job. I kind of feel like don't do that. No matter whether, whatever this is, relationship for you, job for you, living situation that is unsustainable, whatever the situation for you that it could result in a tower where you feel like you might be on a little bit of shaky ground, I want to tell you to start, if anything, dismantling it now, piece by piece, so that it doesn't have to come down in a big fucking flood. So in other words, if stuff in the relationship feels a little unsustainable and like you need to talk to somebody and, and speak some truths and, and maybe try to see if you can, you know, apply a ballast to the wall and see if you can keep it going because you say, hey, you seem a little unhappy. Do, can we talk? I miss you or whatever. Maybe some of you can stave off this tower or at least do a controlled demolition where it's like and it all falls in a nice neat row where it's not creating all kinds of chaos in your life. And there where, you know, once stood a tower, now stands the clear earth for you to plant something wonderful and refreshing and new. And Spirit did just say, like, fresh start, new start. Six of Cups feels very fresh. Some of you will have great success working with people that you love and care about, like friends. Um... It's very clear, Ace of Wands, Ace of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Six of Cups, it's very clear that many of you Leos have something some purpose, some goal, some project that you, it's got legs, it's got possibilities, Three of Pentacles. This is showing up as literally in the position of what is possible and what maybe, you know, hopes and fears. What we hope for and maybe what we're a little afraid of. Um, oof. Okay. So this is heavy, but this is what they're saying. Okay, Leo. For some of you, this is a fear of intimacy and a fear of building something with somebody.
There's no rush on that either, Leo, but I do see a great passion here. Ace of Wands is sitting in your recent past. Queen of Cups is hovering over the top of your reading, and what that is telling you, Leo, is be the Queen of Cups this month. Dive into your intuition. You know, normally you might show up as a Queen or King of Wands where it's like all fire and excitement and charisma, but the Queen of Wands is saying, step into your soul. Look quietly into yourself. What is this tower? Even if you were to just do that in this moment, if you were to just in the middle of this reading, kind of like hit pause and close your eyes and go, what is the tower for me? And just see what shows up in your mind's eye. Is it a person? Is it a place? Is it is a thing? Take, take a little time to get your perspective and get your balance. And that's kind of how they're putting it. Gain perspective, gain balance. And then from a firmly grounded place, really honestly assess what is working in your life and what is not working in your life. And when you, again, really get it and you've taken your time to find that balance, then, and not before, you take the reins and you move things in the direction that you want to go. And for part of it, like literally what they're t they just said to me, chariot six of cups, chase the fun, Leo. Chase what lights you up. It sounds really simple to say, well, if something excites you, then you have to go for it. But that's a signal from your soul. The same way I can't ask you to, like, if you're single and I present you with a perfectly acceptable person who's perfectly kind, perfectly smart, perfectly, you know, decent looking, perfectly perfect, but you feel no chemistry that's a sign from your soul that's like, there's not a lesson here for me. There's not really something here for me. Doesn't mean they're not a good, good person. Doesn't mean we couldn't have some fun, but that spark is missing. That means that there is something essential missing there. And you keep looking until you have that frizzin of excitement, right? Even when it's with somebody, who, <laughs> cause let's be real here. Even when it's with somebody who kind of sucks, but you have better chemistry with them, probably because they have a lesson in store for you, okay? So you need to feel a frizzin of excitement and pleasure about whatever this is that you're going to go after. Again, some of you, I feel like you may even be literally like, hey, let's do this podcast or whatever together, like you and this friend or you and this sibling, um, because Six of Cups is like innocence and childhood and nostalgia. Maybe some of you are even going to make a piece of work that is about nostalgia or friends that you know or hold dear, but whatever the project is for you, Leo, Drive toward the fun. I want to come here to your card, showing up as what is available to you. Strength. Specifically, inner strength. You can see here the girl with her crown. I mean, this Leo card, right? And her lion in the background. Oof, okay. When we look at them and we use them, Leo, moments of weakness become moments of strength. And that is what Spirit is saying. In fact, I kind of want to say moments of weakness become trials of strength. So you need to know that if you're feeling a little beaten down and tired, and maybe you're listening to this reading and just throwing your hands like in the air going like, I don't know what this tower is. like what something else oh big surprise like something is going to go wrong awesome like listen towers shake apart because they're false you don't get the tower when your true love is going fantastically or when your really good job is just really difficult and shitty and, and tough to take right now then you get the ten of wands when you get the tower it's like this is not working this is falling apart and there's really not anything you can kind of do to, to do any, like to, to necessarily change it. And that may be because it's best for you. That may be because some of you need a certain illusion shattered, a perspective shifted so that something new and healthy, they, they're using that again with that Ace of Pentacles, so something new and healthy can be produced. Your future looks so beautiful and it's just a matter of being willing to let go of and i say let go in a myriad of ways hanged man let go be vulnerable 
be willing to be in a space of, I don't know. Be willing to be in a space of like, I'm not sure yet. I don't know yet. I'll let you know when I do. Pauses are sacred. It's very, you know, in this society, I happen to be broadcasting from the U.S., right? And in this society, it's very normal to... It's like we want to live on the peak. We don't want to do this traversing, hiking, sweating, grunting business. We just want to be at the peak and always be at the top. And it's like, how worthwhile is the top without all that work and without the like gaining perspective, gaining strength, losing patience, like that's what makes getting to the peak the peak. We wouldn't know what a fucking peak was if it was all peaks, it would just be a line, it would just be level, you know? So if you're doing a little bit of sweating and fucking grunting, Leo, or if you're doing a little bit of like sitting down in the middle of the path, like I don't even want to sweat and grunt because I don't even know if it's worth it. I want to tell you that either of those things is okay. I want to tell you that whatever is in front of your face, whatever is on your mind at that time is your greatest spiritual teacher. I'm including the convenience store clerk. I'm including, you know, the priest. Same thing. To me, no different. Everybody is placed in your path for a reason and everything is placed into your path for a reason. Doesn't mean that it's going to be fun. Doesn't mean that you're going to love every bit of it. But every bit of it can give you something fucking productive. Be compassionate with yourself. That's your inner strength. That strength card, the lady and the lion. Don't beat or cage or try to kill the lion inside of you when it comes roaring out and you want it to be calm and you don't want to be wild and you don't want to be out of control. Instead, give it voice and give it compassion and Ask it what it needs. Ask it what it wants. The same way I said, maybe you need to close your eyes and just ask yourself, what's my tower? And see what your intuition supplies. You may want to do the same thing with your lion. Drop a little baggage this month, Leo. Drop a little baggage, and if some things are kind of swept out from underneath you, if, if the lightning strikes a tower in your life and something unsustainable or something shaky falls apart as much as you can, as I said, everything and every person that is in front of you is your greatest spiritual teacher. So if you lose something this month, or rather if something clears out of your way and clears the way for you to create something new, Try to be the Queen of Cups about it. Try to stay in your soul and your intuition. You know, there's a difference between trusting your feelings because those dip up and down according to how much we sleep and if we, whether we've eaten or not and if we had a shitty phone conversation with somebody two minutes before we got the news. But our intuition, our soul, is wise, is enduring, is calm. You'll know that your intuition is speaking because it's not trying to feed you a bunch of stories. It's one clarion call of this echo 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 versus maybe it's this or maybe it's this or maybe it's this or maybe it's this like that's your mind okay be the queen of cups <laughs> and for some of you truly lean on that old friend or that sibling that makes you feel playful that makes you feel light-hearted that light-heartedness is going to be a key to you figuring out what it is that is really good and healthy for you so What's my, what's my grand spiritual advice for you in March? It's to get together with people that love you. It's to get together with people that make you feel specifically lighthearted and free to be all of who you are and know that you'll still be loved and appreciated even if, you know, whether you're shiny and lovely or you're feeling a little tired and whiny that day, they love you dearly. The time to push is going to come, okay? But it's kind of like spirit. <laughs> I love this, okay? This is what they're saying. Chariots in your future, right? So in your present, though, it makes sense that before you hop on a chariot, you want to ditch any baggage, any stuff that you don't need to take with you so that, you know, you don't weigh down the ride and don't slow down the trip. 
you have a very fast trip for you coming like toward the end of March, the middle of April, things are going to speed up considerably. So in the meantime, do a little <laughs> physical, mental, emotional Marie Kondo, does this spark joy? And if it doesn't spark joy, Leo, let it go. I could have just, feel like I could have said that in the first 30 seconds of your reading and just been like, boop, 30 second video. That's all you needed. If it doesn't spark joy, go ahead and be willing to shed it. Even if it's a little scary, even if it's a little like, ooh, a little a shiver of fear came up as I let this go. You're just creating space for something refreshing, fertile, beautiful, and maybe even something that can pay those bills, Leo. I like that. Nothing wrong with that. Balance started comes everywhere. So a little more internal balance and a little bit of a better, more positive mindset as within, so without. The outside will begin to align with your inside. So if you feel a little shaky and towery right now, don't be afraid. You are still going to be standing when the tower falls. Something inessential, though, may fall. Okay? Take care of you, Leo. I really appreciate you. I love you. I thank you for tuning in. And if I don't see you on Magic Monday, then I hope I see you in next month's reading. Bye, Leo.